back to my channel. My name is Renee, if you're new here. So today is gonna to be a fashion video, and I know I said all the time, I am so over fashion, it gets on my nerves, but I'm over fashion, I'm still in love with style, personal style to be exact, and they are two different things in my opinion. Whether we like it or not, how we present ourselves when we walk out the door says a lot about us. It speaks for us before we even speak for ourselves. For me personally, I feel like I've always had good style, but I just needed to edit down my closet a lot. And of course, different seasons, you're gonna change it up a bit. But I like to personally have clothing that I can wear to work, I can wear on my everyday, and switch it out depending on the event, the time, or the place, you know what I mean? As a personal stylist, I personally like to go in and edit my client's closets and I also offer that as a service. I want to take you guys into my closet and show you guys how I have it edited down. Now, just a prerequisite, I don't have a whole walk-in closet, a whole walk-in room. I have two small closets, I'm gonna show you guys one today. I took out a few pieces that you can see back here. Just showing you guys a little lookbook of how I sort of pair pieces together, switch it up. I got rid of all the clothing that I no longer wear, things that are no longer my style. I'm finding the order I get, the less I wanna do crop tops. Like if anything, I'm gonna put them on under a blazer. Maybe show a little midriff here and there, but I'm not gonna just have the whole crop top hanging out like how I used to. So go over to my closet so I can show you guys how I have it laid out, and then we're gonna come back and do a little lookbook, showing you guys how I incorporate the pieces that I have left. Let's go. Hey guys, so we're in front of my closet. This one is one of the bigger closets that I have. It's not a walk-in, it, it stretches on each side, but we're just gonna pretty much just focus on my rhyme or reason for this one, for what you can see here. So I got rid of my storage unit because it was an extra bill that I didn't need. So I pretty much store everything here. So I have my coats and like my leather jackets and things like that, the heavier stuff on this side. And I keep these on wooden hangers. And of course, when I work with clients, everyone's, closet, like I said, closet situation is different. So I may have to work with a closet similar to this or even smaller. A lot of the apartments like in the city, very small. So they're working with smaller spaces, but it's not about the size of the closet, it's what's in it and the impact that you can make and how easy it will be for you to get dressed in the morning. So that's this. So I won't really be touching this part during this time of year, because even though it's June, it's actually pretty chilly outside, which is weird. But that's what's on this side. Then on this side, I have like my shorts, my little tops, dresses, some skirts. Now I used to have it color coded, but because it's so hard to get to the things that are back there, I now keep the things that I wear the most or that I plan on wearing the most, like more of the pieces that I want to mix and match. I keep them up front. I switched out all my hangers on this side to black hangers. I may switch out the other side eventually, but I just find that those coats and things like that the heavier items can't withstand those um thinner velvet hangers so i may have to upgrade something heavier if i can find black hangers on top are some of my shoes these are the lower ticket item shoes that i keep out here i have all the other stuff in another closet that i feel more safe being tucked away somewhere now i went to the container store and got some clear containers to put the shoes that never came with any boxes or Maybe like more vintage shoes or things that I've thrifted that doesn't have box. I put here. Anything else over here like boots, Zara shoes, little booties, those are over there on that side. They, I, honestly, I'm someone who loves to keep shoe boxes just because I'm not even plan on selling anything ever in the future, but I just like to keep them in the box that it came in. On this side, I have all my sneakers lined up here. And down there is like some shoes that I barely really wear, but I don't want to get rid of yet. And again, I told you all my other like designer things are in another closet, safe and sound somewhere else. This will all depend on how my lifestyle works. For my clients, like I said, and for you personally, I would recommend editing down your closet in a way that works for your style, work your lifestyle. If you're someone who works from home as opposed to someone who goes out to go to work, your whole edit is gonna to be totally different. You're gonna to wanna to reach for those things a little bit more comfortable, but still more put together, those lounge outfits that are still put together if you need to get on Zooms and things like that. If you go out to work, maybe that's gonna be a blazer, maybe some trousers. So it all depends. For me, this works for me. Okay, so you guys saw how I edited my closet and 
what I could possibly do for you if you ever needed to hire a personal stylist. Again, I'm going to leave everything linked down below if you ever want to do virtual styling, in-person styling, and you know, schedule a consultation. So like I said, I pulled out some pieces back here from my closet that are pretty much on rotation that I want to show you guys in a lookbook how I put all the pieces together. We can really actually start with what I have on. I will style these. I love pink. Like to me, pink is a neutral. So I could style these with some pink kitten heel that I have from Balenciaga into me. I'm in my kitten heel era. They're so much more comfortable, but still cute, you know? Let me show you guys another little cutaway. How I style pink where it's not like too girly and like, what the hell? The shades of pink, I'm very particular over. They have to be more blushy type of pink. And with the candy heel that I have, the Balenciaga ones, I wear them with everything, but they have so much hardware on it that sort of is like that juxtaposition to the really feminine pink, but it makes it a little bit more edgy, you know? So next I took this white Calm de Garcon t-shirt. It has tool underneath it for volume. One of the things that I really, really love is volume when I dress. It could be a plain white dress and just adding the volume just takes up a notch. So I had paired this with these Uniqlo gray trousers. So I love a trouser that has a crease in it. And you would look at gray and think, oh, it's so boring, but you can do so much with this. I paired these as well with the Balenciaga kitten heels and it's so, so cute. And brought some femininity and some edginess to it. So when I've spoken about building a capsule wardrobe in the past, I've spoken about how you have to make it your own. A lot of videos are talking about basically being bland and boring. That way it's easier for you to shop. But if it's not how you naturally dress and it's not your personal taste, you're not gonna feel good when you walk out the door. Next up, I pulled out an oversized blazer. This is the men's blazer. It has like pinstripes on it and these vintage Levi's that I love. I sort of tape them at the bottom because they are wide leg. I'm not ready to come in to tailor them to make them narrow. So I'm going to just I have a safety pin. So with this look, I paired with my pink J.W. Anderson mules. And I told you I love a pink. I wear this if I'm going to work or if I'm just going for a walk and for a little stroll and just want to look put together. I just paired it with a white bodysuit and I just looked put together. And it took no time to get ready. Now for me, as I said, pink may not be a neutral for you, but it's a neutral for me. You would go ahead and pick colors that will work seamlessly into your wardrobe. That may be red for you, that may be purple, or it just may be a natural nude or black. So that's what works for me. Next up is gonna be a really good suit. So I got this DKNY suit from the thrift store in the women's section and I do still need to get a tear because it's a little tight around the waist and I need it to be able to zip up properly. But I'm gonna do a cutaway and show you guys how I wear it to work. I wear it with deep balances and it looks so sick. Especially I think I feel like my hair was like this. This is like my signature deep side part curls, you know. This with some new balances, uh chef's kiss. Or if needed for a more Special environment you can just put some pumps with it or if you want to wear it with flats you can do that as well sometimes I even just wear it I'll have it buttoned up with nothing underneath it so that adds some sexiness to it you can do some stilettos you can mix and match it with the kitten heels that I showed you there's so many things that you can do this is a navy color and it's also pinstripe I love pinstripe it just works for me a good sneaker is always something good to have in your wardrobe I'm gonna also show you it paired with one of the white dresses that I, that I have that's just filled with volume. It's just so, so cute. Even when it comes to sneakers, you're gonna wanna get something that works for you. The new balances that I got, I'm gonna put on the screen somewhere with the, cause I can't remember if it was V990s or V97s or whatever. But a lot of people get the gray color. I wanted something a little bit different. The one I got was like a navy and like an olive. So it just fit better into my wardrobe as opposed to like a gray that sneaker. So again, you could always still be on trend, but still make it your own but definitely every woman needs a good suit. So the next item that I pulled from my closet are gonna be these Target jeans from the Gabriella Johnson, I believe her name is, from the Future Collective collections that they have. Oh my God, they're so good. I love when they do collabs. And this thrifted like cardigan sort of overcoat, and it has like a little bit of sequins. I'm pretty sure I've worn this before on this channel. And this again, I mixed with the pink kitten heels that I have, or I've mixed them with my JW Ernest Mules. I've worn these with the little heels. 
And I just put like a bodysuit underneath it. So this is still very feminine. It's still a little dressed up if you wanna go somewhere. A little bit more fancy, but still keep it a little cash with the denim. But the print is what is so fun. So these are not fitted jeans. I love how it sort of curves out a little bit. They don't go, to me, these hit me at like my ankle. They don't go all the way down. But again, that's because my legs are long and I always have that issue. And again, you're gonna see the common thread of pink in my wardrobe. I just love it, love it. And finally, some oversized men's button ups. I live for these. I'm gonna show you guys, of course, the cutaway. And I like to roll up the sleeves sometimes. I like to tie it around the waist. I just love how it's more voluminous. I love volume. Like the American Ash vibes. For me, why I prefer to thrift it or just go to the men's section because the material is just better. You don't have to get yours as oversized as I did. I'm just crazy with it. Like I guess I like volume. But to me, it lays better. A lot of times when they're making these women's button ups, they're like really fitted at the waist, very slim on the arms. Like nobody wants it. That's not stylish. Like that is just. Don't nobody want that, okay? Well, definitely black and white is a good staples to start with. I definitely wanna add in a blue colored shirt. Not like a navy blue, like on the lighter side, but I'm looking for a specific material. I want it to be heavier. Cause even throughout the summer months, you can always roll up the sleeves, throw on some denim shorts with it, or a short that are more tailored, maybe something with a print, the one a heel, or like a cute little sandal, and you'll be good to go. Okay guys, so that's all I have for you for today. Hopefully you got some tips, tricks on some ways that you can style your closet and edit it down to something that is more functional. And as always, you know the drill, hit that subscription button and that notification bell, wherever it is on the screen. That way you're always notified every time I upload a video. Follow me on all my social media channels, Instagram, TikTok, my website, renelenux.com. If you need any consultation that you want to hire me as your personal stylist, I will definitely leave my calendar link down below. We can set up a consultation, chit chat. And until next time, bye. I'ma get back on my feet, give me a minute I'ma put this in my thighs, like even in it Young